Welcome back, everyone. So today we do have another, as you guessed, Kia, because I do work at Carriage Kia of Woodstock here in Woodstock, Georgia. But today I have one of the coolest, fun, loaded out hatchback wagon SUVs that you can buy in today's market. So today we are actually taking a look at the 2021 Kia Soul, and this is the turbo model, okay? So this one, you can see it's a nice blue color. I know I made the Sorento video not too long ago, but this just happens to be blue. So let's just stick with the color scheme. So let's take a look at the features of this car. We're gonna go through it. We're gonna see why this thing is so cool and why you get a lot of features for the money and why I personally think these things are super, super cool to have. They're fun to drive and why so many people are actually loyal to this car. So welcome back to Austin Aero Automotive. This is the 2021 Kia Soul. So let's talk about the front end here. So this is the turbo model. So this is the flagship trim level for the Soul. Okay, one thing you're gonna notice off the bat, you do have a lot more in terms of high quality garnishes for the front end. So, and then another thing that you're gonna notice is all the lighting on the front is actually full LED. So you have projector beam bulbs for your low beams and your high beams. Your indicators are actually here and so are your fog lights. So not only do you have your LED headlights, both your high and low beams, you have an LED running light. Then on top of that, you do have your turn signal and then you have your fog light, full LED. It looks really, really sleek, especially the front here where the headlights are. I think it looks absolutely amazing. It's really, really cool. Um, of course, you do have soul notation in the front because again, this car is really quirky in the sense that they do, they do have a lot of pride with this brand. So, and by brand, I mean soul. Soul has become a brand. Everybody's known the soul for the hamster commercials, you know, it being quirky, fun car when it comes to music and everything like that this continues that trend okay you are going to notice a brick in the front of the grill here because this car does have radar cruise control so or smart cruise control as some companies call it or even adaptive cruise control so and then you do have inlets here and throughout the grill here because this is a turbocharged motor so i'll go over that in a little bit so but the front end looks really cool i do like these little notches the design detail in here i don't know what it really looks like but it almost looks like a texans logo um but i love it a lot i think it looks really cool it really works well with the car and i think the grill itself looks really cool the way they incorporate the tiger nose fascia here and then one other design detail i really like the red striping on the bottom of the bumper i love it i think it just adds that extra bit of edge that you really want out of a sporty little wagon toaster suv so so let's go ahead and talk about the rear of the sole. So this being the turbo model, you do get some niceties that you wouldn't on lower trim levels. So for one, this whole brake light unit is, uh, is actually full LED. So you do have LED running lights and brake lights, incandescent bulb for the turn signal and for the reverse bulb or reverse light. Um, here, you have fake vents, just more of a stylistic thing, but I still think it looks really cool. Sole badging in chrome, which is really nice. The reflectors are integrated well into the paint. And I do actually just like the red against the blue. I just think it looks cool. Um, one design feature that I've always loved about the Soul, something super tiny, but I think it makes it look amazing. This floating panel here. So it's not truly floating, but it looks like it because you have the black garnish surrounded by the window trim. It just looks like it's floating. And I think that's just such a sharp design detail. I really do. I love it. So um, that's one thing you're gonna get. And then you are gonna get TGDI badging on the other side. So again, this is a turbocharged 1.6. Uh, four cylinders so you have about 201 horsepower in this thing so it's really really peppy it is made it to a seven speed dual clutch transmission so shifting through the gears instantaneous but it also gives you that fun vibe that you'd really want out of a car like this so other things to make note you do have this black garnish down here in the bumper and then you will have a center chrome dual exit exhaust so not dual exit in the stereotypical sense but it is two exhaust pipes back here so you do get the center exhaust here on the sole which is really really nice so a lot of nice things happening back here okay so now let's actually take a step into the inside of the sole 
So let's step inside the sole here. So for one, you do have keyless entry on the door handles. It is a physical button. Um, the car's already unlocked, so I'm just gonna step in here. First thing that you're gonna notice is there's a lot of sportiness integrated into the interior, okay? So for one, you do have these bucket seats. You have this nice little badging here from the sole. I do actually like that. It is red stitched. Um, so that's also another design feature I love. You do have cloth on the middle, but you do have this leather red on the outside. I think it looks really well. And then it is a power driver seat with lumbar support, which is really nice. So, and then on the speaker grill, you will notice Harman Kardon surround sound. So let's talk about this interior, okay? So let's look at it here. I'm gonna go ahead and press the start stop button, start this engine up, and then look up here, turn that down. Look at that. Heads up display in the Kia Soul. So starting 2020, they did include the heads up display on the new body style Kia Soul. This one continues it and you can see it is a flip up projector screen there, which is actually really cool. So I, I actually like it. You can actually toggle it up and down based on this button here. So in the middle, you have a standard screen here. This one's got 4,100 miles as it, as it is a uh, demo here at the dealership. So other things to make note on the steering wheel, leather wrapped, it is a flat bottom steering wheel. You do have paddle shifters, which is really nice. So you can shift through all seven of those gears. You will have the radar cruise control, like I said. So, and then you do have your standard buttons here, nothing too crazy. Dual zone climate controls, which is really nice to have. You do have a digital screen output right here, kind of hard to see with the glare. There you go. You will have a wireless charging pad here for your phone. I love that. So Kia actually implements that on almost every vehicle they make now, which is really cool. And then you do have your 12 volt power outlet, USB. This is more for data transfer, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, etc. And then that's gonna be a fast charge USB down there. Okay, so standard shifter. You see it in the Telluride or Sorento. It's here in the sole. You got heated seats for the front seats, and then you do have different drive modes. Press that, you can go through normal, eco and sport mode really nice then you do have a heated steering wheel as well which is just a really nice touch for a little bit of luxury okay now this infotainment system I love to death so of course ten and a quarter inch screen in this car of course it is incredibly responsive I mean you can do anything that you want I love it it's really nice so and then I'm press home right there you can see it is a split widget screen which is nice scroll to the right Look at that, all these things. Now, one of my favorite things, look at that. Sound moot lamp, I like this. Look at that. You can choose your glow, color theme, refreshing sea, super red. You can choose the brightness level, music plus. So it can respond based on the music that you're listening to, which is really nice. And it's gonna be hard to see. I'm gonna close the door here. It is going to be really hard to see during the daytime, but it is in the speaker grills and things like that. So it is super, super cool. Okay. Other things I want to make note of, just design elements, right? You have stitching here on the dash, right? So it feels like a leather wrapped element right here. It feels really good, really soft, very high quality. I tap it and it feels so solid. It's really, really nice. I, I love it. Um, speaker on top there. You do have speakers and tweeters actually right next to the vents here. Just a really good design element here. And then just like the Sorento, you can see it's got this little fish shark scale type of um, garnish here on the door. This one is painted in kind of an orangish red color, but I think it looks really nice. The new Sorento actually took that design element from the sole as this has been a feature since 2020 model year. So that's really, really nice. So I do actually enjoy that okay so other things i mean safety feature wise you do have blind spot detection you do have your lane departure warning lane keeping assist lane following assist technically a heads-up display is considered a safety feature but you do get that in this car as well you do have autonomous braking for the front you do have it for the rear as well with the rear cross traffic alert and then of course you do have the auto high beam assist there so probably didn't see it with my finger in the way but you do have that as well which is really nice turn that off so and then this does have a manual parking brake so nothing crazy there okay um, just like any other Kia you do have this screen where you can change up so many different things you can edit the heads-up display height rotation I mean you can do literally whatever you like with it so 
Right now it's not being able to adjust because I do have it in the down position. If you press it up, it wafts up. Look at that little screen there. Boom, love it. Then you can adjust everything. So really, really nice content selection, turn-by-turn -turn navigation, traffic info, radio, driving assist, blind spot, all that. Really, really neat there. So I love it. So, and then other things here, you do have sunglass holder, LED interior lighting, which is nice, and then a sunroof, nothing crazy there. So let's check out the second row of seating and see how it fares. All right, the car's yelling at me because I have the key fob in my pocket and I close the door. So stepping into the back seat here again, I'm five foot nine. I'm not tall by any means, but I have a ton of space back here. I really do. I have so much headroom because this car is really tall in nature, but I just have a lot of leg room as well. So that seat actually is a little bit further back than what I'd want. And you can see I have more than enough room. This is probably a solid five inches, I would guesstimate, maybe almost six of space here. So you do have a fast charge USB back here, standard fare there. You got more speakers. You got more of the design element. You still have that same garnish here on the door. And then you do have the same window switches. Nothing too crazy back here. You have the same seat design. So of course you can bring this down for your rear cup holders. And when I say rear seat design, cloth insert, leather right on the outboard, which is really nice. So nothing too crazy here. You still have that LED lighting back here. So really cool. So doing a final walk around on the Soul. It is actually a pretty handsome vehicle for what it's worth. I know a lot of people are love it, hate it situation with it, but I think it looks really nice. I love the front end. I think it looks really handsome, very sporty, definitely modern by modern standards. I think some of the design elements on this one with the red striping on the bottom looks really nice. The wheel set looks very sporty, so I'm a big fan. And then the rear definitely looks very nice. I love that center exit exhaust and the tail lights just wrapping around look really cool but it would be also really nice to see if this wrapped completely around as a full light from kia so but all in all thanks to carriage kia for letting me videotape this car yet again or another car yet again this is the kia soul 2021 hope you guys liked it if you did you can definitely comment subscribe give it a thumbs up and then Give me suggestions for whatever other cars I should do a review on because I know I've got a few friends in the industry and I'm going to be videotaping a few other cars. So just let me know and I'll see if I can do it.